So we've managed to look at all the different properties of a camera, except really the main one, the projection. Now we have looked at perspective versus orthographic, but really what exactly does it do? I wanna go switch my camera back to perspective and take a look in this scene. I have two cubes, one directly behind the other. It's five units behind it. They're both centered at zero, same as the camera, so they're directly in front of the camera. The green one is twice the size of the red one. And when we're looking at it through a perspective camera, it looks very flat, it's 2D. Well, it appears to be 2D, right? The red box inside of a green box, or it just looks like one texture. But if we were to go ahead and take both of these, start moving them down, we see it, the difference, that, that we get that perspective view. We can see depth in our scene, and we can see the relationship in position between the two elements or in this case, the two cubes. If we were to go ahead and grab our perspective camera, switch it to orthographic, we lose that depth, that perspective. And yeah, I know you can't see my air quotes, but in class you can. <laughs> and no matter where we move it on the screen, it's always the same, but not so with perspective. That is probably the main thing that, that I look at as far as perspective versus orthographic. Then we also have exactly what's gonna be in the camera's rendering path. Take note that we have a field of view, which is this big box here. And we have a slider under projection and we can adjust that field of view. Let me try to get a better angle for you. So depending on the type of game you're making, you may want to even adjust the actual field of view. Now be careful, a lot, a lot of games when you start playing around with the field of view can make people sick. A lot of the times just exposing this in the editor, or I, I should say in the options for your game, and just let them pick it. You might want to cap it to a max and a min, but just be careful of hard setting this and not let, letting them change it after. All right, so we'll come back to our cubes, which, I have lost. Let me go ahead and bring them back up. And I accidentally moved my camera. There we go. Okay, so let's also take a look at the perspective camera and some of the options it has, which is really just one. Okay, orthographic has the size, and the size acts as a zoom. We go ahead and make it bigger, things get smaller further away. As we make it smaller, things get bigger, they become closer. And if we take a look at orthographic, it's this big box that it projects. And what you're doing is adjusting the size of this box. So if something's 50 pixels on the, well, this is the way I look at it. If something's 50 units inside of this box, when you're making the box smaller, it's still 50 units. It's just there's less units inside of the box, thus making it bigger. At least that's the way my little loser brain processes it. So this actually really comes in handy, especially with 2D games. A lot of the times the sprites, I'll get the whole scene set up. I've got everything working or looking the exact way I want it as far as relationships to each other. But maybe I just want to be able to make everything just a little bit bigger. So instead of going through and adjusting every single sprite, I can just go ahead and change my orthographic size. Now, as far as which one is better to use in which situation, really, I think it's just a matter of the, the feel that you're going for in your game. If the style you're going for is a very flat look, orthographic is probably a natural choice for you. Whereas if you do want to have that relationship of depth between objects, you're probably going to want to go with a perspective camera. There are a few little corner cases where you might want to use a perspective camera to create some sort of neat trick in a 2D game. Likewise, an orthographic camera to create a trick in maybe one of your 3D games. I've shown you how to create a mini map. And a lot of times I'll use that as an orthographic camera. But do you have any other little secrets like that? Let us know down below in the comments. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.